Hey YouTubers, JB Coins here with another video for you. This one is uh, something that probably causes a lot of confusion, especially with you uh, newer collectors. What the heck is a mule? Well, you're looking at one. Uh, we're going to get into it in some detail here. Um, but the main thing you need to know is you need to check your change because people are still finding mules and you'll understand better what that means in a minute. But people are still finding mules in their pockets, in their change, in their coin roll hunting. Um, and it is still the safest and best way to find a mule. Because if you buy one, you could be buying a fake. You want to get a mule either from your change or if, you, if you're going to buy one, require that it be sent to NGC or PCGS, even if it's already in a slab for verification that it's legit before you lay out the money, okay? Don't buy a mule from somebody unless it's certified to be a mule and not a fake. So now let's get into this. A mule, by definition, uh, according to the Red Book, is any coin from two dies not originally intended to be used together. In other words, coins struck with mis mismatched dies. It can happen on the obverse, it can happen on the reverse, it can be a combination of dies from two different denominations even. In this case, you see the Sacagawea reverse with the um, uh, obverse of the America the Beautiful Quarter. So we're gonna show you um, all the mules that uh, are known at this point uh, to be legitimate. Um, the first one, uh, which is this one, um, is uh, there's actually 16 known of this particular mule, um, which is pretty wild if you think about it. But uh, uh, there's a New Mexico collector named Tommy Bullock uh, who now owns an even dozen of the 16. He's bought 12 of the known 16 examples. Uh, how significant is that? Uh, well, it, they've sold for various prices, but one of them sold in August of 2012 at Stax Bowers for a record price of 155250 bucks. So imagine how much uh, Mr. Bollock has invested in these 12 coins, okay? Um, then the number two coin on our list is believed to be a 65 or 66, but nobody really knows for sure, two-tail quarter, Washington reverse, Washington reverse. There are three known. Um, one of the known examples sold for $41,975 on August the 14th, 2006 by Heritage Auctions. The last one was sold recently at the Long Beach Expo for an undisclosed amount of money. Check our video on that one uh, about this particular coin. We did a video on this particular coin when it sold, um, but no one knows exactly what year it's from because as you can see, there is no face, so there is no year. Uh, we get that question a lot actually, uh, particularly when we did this video. Uh, but they have found, I mean, the, the one was found just recently, so they're still out there. Um, that's why we keep emphasizing, check your change. Um, third one, also believed to be a 65 or 66, is a two-tailed Roosevelt dime. Um, obviously, it has the reverse on both sides uh, of the Roosevelt dime. It's PCGS MS64. Um, as you can see, and it was it, it, this one in this case is the only one known so far, um, but you can see it's a fairly new holder. It's not one of the really old holders. Uh, it was sold by Fred Weinberg, the dealer, for $45,000. Uh, the next one is a 2000P two-headed nickel. This also was, not found, was found not too long ago. Uh, and it was certified by PCGS in 2016. So, um, you know, that coin was found recently in change. Um, the next one is a 1999 Lincoln cent. This one confuses a lot of folks. It's a Lincoln cent 
Roosevelt dime reverse, and it's struck on a penny planchet, a cent planchet. It's the only one known so far. So it's a penny on the front, it's a dime on the back, it's on a penny, basically. So the dime isn't shiny, it looks just like a penny. Um, and this one sold for 138000 uh, April 19th, 2006, Heritage Auctions. It's the only one, again, known so far. But a lot of people just aren't looking for these things. We always say in our coin roll hunting videos, check both sides. And even Ken Potter, I believe it was, a few months back, wrote an, an, an editorial to uh, Numismatic News and admitted that he had gotten out of the habit of checking both sides. And you need to check both sides um, because these things are popping up. And that's what prompted his article, if I remember correctly. Um, the next one is a 95 Roosevelt dime reverse Lincoln scent struck on a dime planchette. So Lincoln is shiny like a dime. And then the Roosevelt dime reverse looks normal. MS-64. Sold for 57500 January 7th of 2010, also Heritage Auctions. And then a 93D Lincoln Cent Roosevelt Dime Reverse struck on a penny. So again, it looks like a penny. What you see is what it looks like. Um, this is the only one known so far. It sold for $51,750, also January 7th, 2010. So it was found about the same time, or at least brought to auction about the same time as the 95. Um, so people are finding these things, and some people are bringing them to auction. Some people are putting them in their collection. Some people are getting them graded, and we just don't know about it, but they're still being found. So keep checking that change. The last one is, is we saved for last, even though it's out of order in terms of value, uh, because we shot a video on this one. It's the, it's the 59 Lincoln uh, Wheat Reverse Mule. That should have the Lincoln Memorial on the back in 1959. Uh, that was the transition year. But there's a lot of videos out there, including ours, about this mule uh, with the wheat back. We shot one and we went into great detail about the history of this coin and the controversy behind this coin. Your best bet is to find a raw coin. Find it yourself, coin roll hunting, checking your change. You know, um, if you're gonna buy it from somebody, send it out for attribution first. Make that part of the deal. If it comes back that, that, they, can't con that they can't confirm that it's real, uh, or they can say that it's a fake, have a way to cancel the deal. But check your change because all of these mules and, and, and you know, the potential for any combination you can think of um, is out there. Um, you know, not to mention all the other errors that we, that we, and varieties that we find coin roll hunting all the time anyway. But we wanted to kind of cover as much as we could about mules so that you understand not only what they are, but the, the myths behind some of them, the, the, you know, uh, the history like this coin behind some of them, uh, and, the, and the, the caution that if you're going to get into mules, um, you know, better to find it yourself and then you make all the profit too. Um, and get it certified, get it verified, um, and, uh, and have fun looking for it. So hopefully this has helped you guys understand better what a mule is uh, and, and the risks and rewards. And I uh, hope you liked the video, found it informative. Uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe uh, to all of our videos. Hit the notification button so when we put up a new one or do one of our live streams, you get notified. And uh, until next time, J&B signing off.